Today we are reacting to Forest Mayor TV's videos, scary videos that might startle you at night. A few of you guys recommended this to me. I want to get into some horror reactions. Let's do this. I'm scared. I am utterly scared. I get scared pretty easily, but it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games. Let's let's do this. The next video is whisper. I've already got chills. I've already got chills going up my body right now. I'm actually really scared. Like, I don't know if anyone could tell, but I'm like quite shaky as well. Sent to me by <laughs> Theresa M. And she tells me that she found them on the profile of user Sophie Clayton. The young woman states that she was back. He was sitting one night at the family's home. And apparently they were collecting some really strange dolls, which is not- Okay, wait, is that a doll or is that a child? If that is a doll, if that's a doll, then I- Okay, yeah, I, I had dolls growing up. I was always a doll child and I had these dolls that were like life- Like, not life-size, but they were quite big. And they got scary as I got older. One of them looked like Chucky. I was always scared that one of them was going to turn into Chucky. They- Dolls can be quite scary. Nothing too crazy, right? After putting the young son to bed, she- Okay, that's the doll. That is all right. I sh I'd leave. I'd leave. I'm sorry, I'd leave. Decided to check these dolls out a little bit further. And then, strangeness occurred. I'm babysitting and I just found the creepiest thing. <laughs> Look at this. What is that? Oh my god. What the- What is it? It's so creepy. Freaking me out. Is this real hair? Oh my god. And look. She's touching it. Oh my god. I got I've literally got chills. Just I'm I've got chills running right down my body right now. I have literally chills going down my body right now. What the hell? It is a pretty odd design choice. I give her that. Would it freak one out though? Hmm. I'd be freaked out big time. Okay, around this point, I would question maybe the the sun has done this. Maybe the sun has put these things there. Then I'd also question why the hell is she collecting these dolls? And I would also text her and be like, yo, is this normal? Are your dolls meant to be like stacked up staring at walls? Not only one, but two. No, no, I, no, I tell you, look, I got, I got an emergency. You need to come home. I got to go. Oh my gosh. It's a boy this time. Why would anyone have this in their house? Honestly, it's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, it has another bell. Oh my god. Guys. Maybe that's to know that they move. What the fuck? What? I've got chills. I, I, I've got chills. Look. Okay, maybe it's the child. Maybe it's the child. There's a possibility. She did say that she has a child there. So there's a possibility that this right now is the child. But I'm, I, I, I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Is it actually a child that can be seen walking by in the background? Maybe the family's son? Or some suspect another doll, perhaps. But after this, things just keep falling apart, it appears. The TV just literally turned itself off by itself. And then the light started going insane. Let me show you. Okay, wait for it, because it was literally just happening a second ago. So I wouldn't, why is she staying there? Why is she, I believe in ghosts, okay? I'm I'm a very spiritual person. If you want to open conversation with me about ghosts, then I'm willing to. I believe 
that the paranormal does exist in one form or another, whether they're actual spirits and ghosts or whether it's an energy, I don't know. I've never really investigated it into that much, but I've had multiple times where I have experienced something paranormal. I've had multiple times where I'm like, okay, that freaked me out. Was that a paranormal experience? If you do want to hear that, then I'm willing to do a story time on that. Um, the house that I used to live in down, well, before I moved to this house, that was very paranormal living. Like we had constant, constantly we'd have lights flickering, TVs on and off, noises going on, things moving. There was so much activity in the house that we just got used to it in the end. Now moving into this house, it's so quiet. It's, it's horrible, I miss it. But I, we've ex I've experienced this. I've experienced the light flickering, but I, I've never experienced dolls. Did anyone just see that? Did I, I just, did anyone just see that? I'll be out of bed. Yeah, she's getting scared. You can see that she's getting scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus, oh gee, Jesus. Oh my God. I, I don't, I, yo, what the hell? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whatever was going on that night didn't appear to be created by any natural causes. At least this is what Theresa tells me. Let's see how this case develops in the future. Really mysterious. Another team of ghost hunters investigating an abandoned hospital in Mexico. Suddenly, out of nowhere, something is peeking out of the dark. I'm so jumpy right now. I am literally jumping over everything. It's got little little eyes right there. It's got these little little gushy eye thing. Look at the ears. It looks like Dobby of of Harry Potter. I've got something in my eye. It looks like Dobby of Harry Potter. Oh, Vol Voldemort. After hearing weird sounds stemming from his car, this man decides to see if anything is out of place. He finds nothing and makes his way back to his house when he suddenly captures a figure on tape. I don't see nothing. I, I really don't, I don't see nothing. Hotels scare. Hotels are scary. Hotels are very scary, but they can also be very peaceful. I've visited, visited many hotels in the last like 10 years. I've never had a scary experience in a hotel. Apart from the time I went to London and I, hear a, I like woke up in the middle of the night and I hear a load of people walking down the corridor and I honest to God, I thought that it was, I thought there was war going on. I got very scared. That was like the scariest experience I've had in a hotel. The following video was sent by Gregory and he tells me that he found it in a paranormal thread on Reddit. Apparently it was captured by a couple who went on a nice vacation together. After a long flight and a well-deserved meal, both of them decided that a little rest would be a good idea. The lady that was recording with her cell phone stated that her fiancé took a little nap while she was documenting their hotel room for friends and family. Shortly after starting the video, she thought that she saw something out of the corner of her eye. I'm actually really scared to continue to make this video. The first video scared the crap out of me. I'm, I'm not prepared for this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, let's just, let's just get on with it. I thought that was a ghost then. It's the guy sleeping. I was like, 
That's a very clear, clear ghost right there. It's just the guy sleeping. Why is she recording him sleeping? Like that, that in itself is just like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell's going on? Why? I don't know if Dan was to record me sleeping. I think it was cute for the first like two seconds of the video. After that, I'd be like, I think we've got problems. Why are you recording me sleeping? Something's gonna pop up and scare the crap out of me. I know it. Is wrong with people oh my god wtf wtf that was that was definitely fake that was something there was something going on in that video first off she was recording her husband for a hell of a long time then she was just slowly walking around the room as if to say oh look at this room i'm gonna show you something really cool and then you know like them jump scares that you used to watch she used to watch the car going through the countryside and then it, like all of a sudden it used to be like Phew. like that's what just happened but that scared the crap out of me oh my god Not again, please don't click. Moments before a creepy head is coming out of the closet no. area. There seems to be a woman standing in it. Coincidence? A skit, perhaps. It is unexplained what exactly was going on here, or why the lady was focusing so much on... It's fake. Definitely fake. 100% fake. ...filming her fiancé in bed at the end. A pretty spooky recording, nevertheless, though, isn't it? This video was posted by Henbrolo92. In the thread, he simply states, This is from a friend's home security camera. And no one was home. Well, and this security camera, installed in the dining area, caught something weird. On first glance, it seems just like... Security camera's scared. I will, I'll never set up a security camera in my house. Like, not at the minute, minute anyway, because since I watched that paranormal activity film as a kid, it scared the crap out of me of the fact that you can catch pretty much anything that goes on inside your house, paranormal or real life, on camera. Like, I, I, I don't like the photo security cameras. I really don't. Door closing until we look a bit closer. It stopped before it closed it stopped it was like whoop, boom. like if that was the wind if that was the wind come on if, if that was the wind it'd go slam if that was like and even if it was someone pulling it maybe even if it was like someone on a string pulling it it'd still go it wouldn't just stop like it'd have to be a physical stop to be able to stop it it would i i yeah that one that one is questionable no what is that dark thing that is seemingly closing the door? Oh my god, what? No, I, did, I didn't even notice that. What? Okay, there's a possibility it could be a cat. But come on, come on, like, can I... I haven't got a cat. I don't have a cat, but surely a cat can't go, like, you know... I've, I've met cats. They cannot close doors. Not in that sense, anyway. Not, not, not like that. I don't believe that. I don't believe this. Some people say that it looks like a shadow figure extending an arm, but I'm not sure. Maybe something is attached to the door. It remains a mystery, I suppose. I wouldn't say there's something attached to the door again, because if there was something attached to the door, how would you make it go like, how would you make it go stop and then slam? Like surely if it would just go straight slam. And if you had some sort of like tool or something to do that, then it wouldn't look like it's just extend. It literally looks like arm is just extended and started closing it and then stopped it and then closed it again. Mm. I, I don't know. 
the next video. It honestly almost looks like a little black kitten. I'm not gonna lie, it does almost look like a little black kitten, but... It was once more recorded in the United Emirates and features investigator Ihab Kasmea. He ventures out on mysterious investigations and shares these nights with his viewers on Snapchat Live. This night he was exploring a notorious location again, only to find something really fascinating. People in these parts of the world believe that jinns and other beings can inherit several places and abandoned locations. He notices that the sink in what appears to be a kitchen of some sort seems to get turned on by someone or something. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Surely if it was, you'd hear someone though. If it was someone there with you, you'd definitely hear it. It could be stayed. The thing about, okay, the thing about abandoned exploring. I used to go abandoned exploring. I've been abandoned exploring so many times, like in the last like couple of years. I've stopped at like, the beginning of COVID and I haven't gone back to it yet. Um, and the thing with abandoned exploring is that you can stage stuff so easily. I've never staged anything, but when you're walking around this place, you can easily stage something. Definitely when it's like an open space where you've got do multiple doors to be able to like hide behind. And you, if you make enough noise or you speak, you're not going to hear the person behind you. So this could possibly be staged. I, I believe that it could be staged, but let's continue watching and we'll see what happens. But of course, no soul seems to be around. It appears that this incident has fueled Ehab's interest and he starts to move faster through the different doorways. This room in particular has piqued his interest. And it is where something really curious is waiting for him. what creeps me out that is what creeps me out it's not the like it's not the thing jumping out of me it's not the oh i just seen a ghost it's when you physically see them quickly and they just run it that is what freaks me out i can't do that no 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 and then it's gone bismillah What did he capture in this room? Look, there's a person. There's a person. Again, it could be staged. There is... So, it's so easy to stage stuff, okay? It is so easy. Definitely when you have a view system. Definitely, like, he said he was on live. If he is on live and there are, like, multiple thousands of people there, it's so easy to stage something to prank them and people are going to believe it. You're going to get, like, 90% of people believing it instead of, like, 10% of people who's not going to believe it. It's so easy to do that, but... I don't know. Let's analyze it. Once again, one could suggest a person with long dark hair peeking around the corner and looking at the camera. It is to note that the facial features can't really be made out. Therefore, it is. No, I'd say it's the back of someone. Like, there's their bum and there's their shoulders. Up with a conclusion here. It could also just be one of his friends, of course. Please visit Ehab's channel for more chilling adventures. Next, we want to look at the haunted case of Charlie the Golden 18's owners. I love their adorable golden retriever and I'm a big fan. Turns out the owner has another channel on which he's documenting paranormal activity that is unfolding in his home. The profile is called A.S. Dixon 1983. Not much info is given other than there are paranormal events unfolding. And they have been documented by a security camera in their home. Yeah, again, another security camera. Have you noticed the security cameras pick up so many things? I never have a security camera. First incident. I know that this could just be dust, but it is the beginning of something really interesting. 
when it comes to obes, it could be dust, it could be a light, it, there could be so many possibilities for obes, but I have caught cap I have caught multiple photos which I've suspected being haunted places with obes and even places where there's no dust. So I I I'm a, like I'm half and half when it comes to obes. In the next clip we see how their little cat is getting disturbed by what appears to be some eerie poltergeist activity. And then there's that noise. Nobody has any idea where it came from, but it's the first bit sounded like it was dog claws on the on the on the floor. Startled the cat pretty good. What the camera has captured on one of the following days though is what I find the most disturbing. Let me rephrase that. It was the same night that, besides objects being thrown, there seems to be an apparition that could have been captured. Oh, hell no. Nah. What? Oh, no. No. What? And that's just giving me the creeps. Ah, I've got chills. <laughs> I hate these things. These give me chills. I'm literally, I'm home alone as well. So I'm actually like really freaked out about my surroundings right now. I have body chills. I might like, yeah, I have literally body chills right now. It almost looks to me that a semi-transparent shape is disappearing through the crack of the door. What do you see? Do you think it's legit activity? Screw that for a laugh. I have to give them the benefit of the doubt here. I really find it fascinating, to be honest. Whatever this thing is. Guys, let me know down below if you got scared during this video. And if you do want to see more videos like this where I utterly scream at my living daylight, or if I crap myself, or if I literally get so scared on camera, let me know down below. Let me know what other videos you want me to do as well. I'm trying to mix up my channel and do other reactions, not just music reactions. And I found this one was a good one to start with. I absolutely crap myself. I got scared. I jumped out of my living daylight without skin. I kind of, I, I'm scared. I, I was scared. Guys, let me know what you think down below. I love every single one of you. Be beautiful, be true to yourself. Also, guys, follow my social medias as well and check out all my videos. By the time you've seen this video, I have reached 50,000 subscribers. Oh my God, 50,000 subscribers. You just don't understand. You do not understand. Thank you all so much for your love and for your support. I'll see you in the next video. It's been your girl. Peace. Bye, guys.